today we are going to start a new series on Android interview question and answer. And the first topic that we are going to discuss today is nullability. So in Kotlin, by default, when you define a variable, let's say that, for example, here if I write a variable called country of type a string, and you try to assign a null value to it, the compiler will complain that you cannot assign null to a non-null type. And that is done to have maximum null pointer safety in Kotlin. Now, if I change it back to, let's say, India, the compiler is happy and then there is no issue. Now, if you want to make a value or object which can have a nullable type, so you have to make this value as nullable in Kotlin. And that you can do just by putting a question mark. And now this object, this property can accept null value. Okay, now how can we get the actual value from let's say that if I have to print this or if we have to use it somewhere, how can we use this? Now, the first is very traditional approach the, that we will see here, and that is like we can compare that if country is not equals to null, then you print a value. So, this is the very traditional method that we are doing and here I print country and if you run this or if I print country dot length here it will print me 5 okay now here what do you see that the output we are not seeing any output because the value is null so let's comment this out and then you run it and this time you should see the value as 5 now the second approach which we can use is using safe call okay so safe call operator allows you to combine a null check and a method call in a single expression using question mark dot so how can we do that so let's say that for example the same thing if i have to write i can write like print ln country dot length and here see the error what you are getting you can just put a simple question mark so what basically here it will happen that the safe call will guarantee that only if the country is having value then it will call this length if the, if the country is null then it is not going to call this part so in this case if i comment this print statement and if i run it again so you will see the value here as 5 again and if i uncomment this line means if i make this null then it will print you null okay so this is about safe call now Okay, now next thing is that we can also use safe call with lit block. So let's see that. So safe call with lit. So how can we use that? Country dot lit and then you write everything here. So if you see here, this is still showing that it is nullable. So, so what we can do, we can just put a question mark here. Okay, and now inside this block, you can do whatever you want. So this block will only execute when the country is having some value. So in this case, the country is having India. So let's say if I comment this line and if I run it again, so I will be getting the output as five. Okay. And if I uncomment this line, means now the country is null. In this case, I will not be having any output. Okay. Because this block is not getting executed. Now let's see the next thing that is the LVS operator. So LVS operator you can use when you want to provide some default value when your actual object is null. For example, let's say that here if I write print ln then country dot length and what will happen if the country dot length if the country is, is null in that case the, this will print you null but let's say that you don't want to print null you want to have some default value let's say zero or that all depends on you on your use case then what you can do put a question mark give colon and then give the default value in my case i am giving it zero so now if you run this let me just again comment this block so that i can always have one print statement so this time it will give me the output as five okay and if i make this as null then this time it will give me the output as zero not null so this lv operator is very much related to your use case if you don't want default value no need of using Elvis operator. Now let's see the last one, not null assertion operator. So the last one is not null assertion operator. Basically denoted by 
double exclamatory symbol. So this we should use it as less as possible because the problem using this not null accession operator is that it will throw you a null pointer accession if the nullable types is having a null value. For example, let me comment this now and uh, use a println then country dot length. Okay. Now, right now, if you see, I have commented this country equals to null. So this time it will give me a print statement of value as 5. No issue in this. Now, let me change it back to null. And this time, if you run the application again, then the compiler will give you a runtime exception to a null pointer exception. So that's all about the nullable types in Kotlin. So so that's all for today's video. Hope you have enjoyed this new series on Android uh, interview question and answer. I will be adding more and more video to it. So if you have not subscribed the channel, then please do subscribe it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.